Here we go again. In the last four days I've passed through France, Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany, Denmark, Sweden and now I'm in Norway. The change in conditions once I've come into Norway are really quite, I'd say, intimidating the temperatures have just absolutely plummeted there's absolutely tons of snow really really pleased with the new Eberspatcher heater that's running as we speak down here you can see just that little vent there that's where all my heat's coming from the little Eberspatcher to think that these are i think like a six inch or six and a half inch speaker when you consider that that's such a small that's a pretty small speaker and the size of the Eberspatcher is so small but it produces an incredible amount of heat and this runs off my petrol tank. You merely adopted the doctors. I was born in it. So it's my first night sleeping in the middle of Norway in my van. And quick uh, bulletin, it was freezing. So I am wearing two pairs of trousers, two pairs of socks with slippers. I'm wearing a t-shirt, a thermal, a jumper, a hoodie, and the down coat both hoods are up and I've got a woolly hat and I'm sleeping inside a down sleeping bag underneath a winter duvet. I don't want to leave on my herbs such heat all night because I don't want any drain on the battery or to use up loads of fuel through the night when I'm asleep so I've just put that on for 10 minutes quickly. Obviously I am and my auntie made that cushion for me how sick is that? The windows are of course absolutely frozen inside. This is my washing up from last night and So that is how cold it was inside of the van. Van started no problem this morning, which is a relief because I can't even use my gas because the pipes are for that have frozen. So I was really nervous about the van, but touch wood, she's done me proud. But I guess I can show you guys a little bit of what it's like outside. Bear in mind that this is the motorway. So this is the most well kept. I can't actually stand out here that long, it's unbelievably cold and my hands are just frozen holding the camera. So I'm gonna jump back in the van. It's just an open hand away. Every morning the first thing I do is just make sure I've done a proper check on the van, checking the oil, checking the coolant, and then just giving it a good like 10 minutes just to warm up. Right, let's have a look outside because it is getting pretty insane now. the windscreen. Here we are, I remember being here last year but yeah it's pretty pretty different now this is the rest stop as you can see you can't even get to it the snow is so deep it's minus 20 at the moment I was just talking to some states patrol guys and I had a few issues because I can actually smell my brakes burning where they're like just frozen solid so I've had to be pumping them the whole journey just to keep them being used and now they're fine this is why you have to be careful on the on the road there's these massive trucks and that they don't worry about going pretty quick be a bit intimidating especially on the descent when you go on coming up behind you super fast but yeah it's very very cold today about minus 20 again yesterday was the same uh, 
really many people on the road. I got up early today, just gonna make the most of the light. I'm gonna have to go in because I'm really painful on my hands, just like in seconds. Open hand away. I was here in the summer, but you can't even get to it anymore. The route's totally blocked. So it's just like this bunker hidden in the snow. Crazy storm last night and the van got absolutely covered. I actually had to move it because I thought the wind was going to rip my kayak off the roof. So one of the main things with keeping your old VW working well is to run it every day. For me, uh, getting the engine going, taking it for a short drive, I think that's so important for it to for, for it to run well. Salt as well is really horrible here. It, starts to eat away at all of the metal work so I need to get it jet washed underneath as quickly as I can actually. So the battery's working. It's always a good sign. disappeared. Synchro I dug out just yesterday and <laughs> seems a bit futile now. Super grateful to Berghaus for sorting out with this amazing uh, amazing winter gear. It's been so warm just even in this weather it's just it's totally fine. Wearing the Berghaus trousers as well and the Berghaus boots and they've all been really good. Synchro may be a little bit stuck. <laughs> it's just absolutely insane. Oh dear. Session to dig this out. So cool. I like the overhead locker as well in there. Yeah. It is, uh, you can use it as a bed, but uh... come on out and save the day. If you're feeling like you want to come on out and save the day. Sit down. This is what you call a snowstorm. I'm going to have to show you this really quickly. Ooh. That's all I wanted. I was like, I've begun to have a storm. I've got rain for four stinking days. <laughs> 
Got nothing but maggoty snow for the breeze, ten good days. It's getting cold. It's getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> They tell you it's not cold, they're lying! It's getting hot! It's getting cold! So I found a reason to be late Don't frown Cause I have found a reason not to hate It's always work for me But there is no this will work for you Cause I've been here before you And if you're feeling like an ordinary common goblin slave If you're feeling like you ought to come on out and save the day If you're feeling like an Yeah, I was like, that was the most calm. Oh, there's an avalanche. <laughs> that's so beautiful. Okay, that was, that's not funny anymore, is it? No, no, no. So next week my plan is to, well plan was, to drive to Senja and then to some of the most northerly parts of Norway before finally going to the national parks in Finland. And about a week ago I noticed the van behaving slightly strangely. The van conked out once which again isn't the first time it's just happened randomly because of the old wiring in these vans. Ideally I'd rip all of that out and start again and it's something that I want to do. But last night basically it conked out a load of times. As soon as I put the headlights on or wipers or fan then my van would just conk out. So I think that is my alternator. Um, so what I'm doing now is just testing the battery to see whether my alternator is working properly. Right now I've seen that my battery was not at 12.6 when the engine was off. And when it was on it's also now very very low and that's even without having appliances on and it was dropping to something really low so pretty certain my my alternator isn't working properly which is what my gut feeling is or perhaps the belt's loose or something within the charging system isn't working as it should so just removing my alternator the art of not dropping your bolts into the engine bay and also making sure you remember where they will go when you put it back. Alternator out, credit to Bosch because I think this has been in here for, well, uh, I reckon at least sort of like 10 years. So really well made. Uh, and I'm gonna definitely get that serviced and fixed. Just had this one fixed with a few new parts. So hoping that this will solve the issue. If you're someone who worries about salt getting on the van and underneath the van, maybe don't come to Norway, just, just look at this. That is all just salt. Kind of got the place to myself. I'm pretty far north now. Uh, the climate is definitely getting a lot colder. So I'm just climbing over to a remote region of Senja. Senja has a lot of these kind of tunnels. Uh, very long, very narrow. and just so sunny and warm. So I'm currently at Stetind. I'm not sure pronunciation, but it's absolutely beautiful. You can see it just behind me here. 
and this kind of region was a bit of a gamble. I wasn't sure how, other than the mountain, I wasn't sure what it was going to be like. And I'm just so pleased I made the journey here. Still can make it home again. We're all still inside, and still we will get home again. Cause I believe in better worlds, a better time, a better place. But it's beauty like a gun given to hand of human race. If you've been inside, I still can make it home again. Still inside, but still we will get home again. Cause I believe in better worlds, a better time, a better place. But it's beauty like a gun given to hand. Malt beer. <laughs> Roast beef of the bowl. We've been going through the cupboards to see, <laughs> see what we can eat. And it's just a mixture of beans. Fruit. It's not on the menu, boys. <laughs> Fruit cocktail. <laughs> but instead, what have you had, Joe? Soup. No. That's not what you Lemonless had. Lemonless bread. No. <laughs> Salted pork. <laughs> no. Roast <laughs> beef off the bone. No. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Them. No. <laughs> We've had nothing but maggoty bread for three stinking days. <laughs> yeah. It's fresh. <laughs> it's fresh. <laughs> they don't need their legs. <laughs> what about their legs? They don't need their legs. <laughs> what about their legs? <laughs> they don't need those, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> they are not for eating. <laughs> <laughs> we go no further. <laughs> We've had nothing but maggoty bread for three stinking days. <laughs> we ain't going no further. Till <laughs> <laughs> we've had some host beef off the bone. If you've been inside, I still can make it home again.